the Danish food system women and Danish Jews. This topic may not be familiar to you when thinking about the resistance movement. Danish resistance movement was against German occupation of Denmark during World War II. The resistance and other Denmark citizens worked together to save Danish Jews from getting captured by Nazis, risking their lives. Nazis want no Jews in their occupation land. They tried to find every Jew and send them to Nazi concentration camps where lives got killed slowly. And when Nazis discovered Danish trying to help any Jew families, Nazis did the same they did to Jews. The action of the Danish resistance movement and Danish citizens were very dangerous and life risking for them, hiding from the eyes of Nazis with Danish Jews. But they risked their lives and saved 7,220 Jews, including 686 non Jews who were their family members. To give you a clear thought, this book called The Number to Start by Roy Solari will help you to understand better. It's based on a real life story of Jews turned into a realistic fiction. The story is about a Danish family, Johansons, trying to help a Jew family, Rosens, to not get caught by Nazis and escape Denmark safely. And there's Animal Johansson and Alan Rosen, who are the daughters and best friends. There is a scene where Johansson takes Ellen and pretends she is part of the family to keep her safely by the request of Rosens. The Nazi soldiers come in and search for Rosens. The climax comes as Animal tries to take Ellen's necklace off while Nazi soldiers walk into their bedroom. The necklace that Ellen was wearing represented Judaism. It was the stars of David. Risking the situation of being caught, Johansson helped and protected Alan the Jew. In Denmark, there was just two resistance. The resistance of Danish from the German occupation and the resistance of Danish from the Nazis capturing the Jews. They risked life to save others in the worst condition of their country can get. The choice of risking our lives for others is hard to make and you would probably resist doing it. The Danish resistance movement and other Danish citizens chose to be one of them who would die for their country and be against Nazis strongly. They protested, protected, and saved their country and Danish Jews. It took every personal choice for its successful outcome. The organizations called Baderlik Partisaner participant in World War II, also called BOPA, and Holler Dansk made Denmark a independent country. In April 9, 1940, the occupation of German of Denmark ended, and by this, Jews also could no longer endanger.